Assalam uh, alaikum everyone. Dear student, I hope you are fine and doing well. Uh, today I come up with another uh, series of my online lecture is symmetrical decomposition or you can say symmetrical decomposition problem. Dear student, um, uh, as uh, any in integer can be factorized into one or uh, more than one, uh, there exists uh, more than one factorization of one integer. And same, uh, there exists more than one decomposition of any matrix A, any square matrix A. In that case, dear student, we are today we will discuss the symmetrical decomposition problem. It is basically related with the uh, symmetric matrix. A matrix is called symmetrical matrix if its transpose is equivalent to uh, its original matrix A. We can say. A square matrix A is symmetrical if A is equal to A transpose. That is, matrix is uh, equivalent to its transpose. So, in that case, generally the eigenvalue decomposition problem is converted from. Uh, so, in uh, eigenvalue decomposition problem, we uh, need inverse where A can be written as V diagonal matrix into V inverse. But here, if you're talking about the symmetrical decomposition problem, it basically reduces the uh, uh, problem into transposition. That is, there is no need of inverse. We just take uh, transpose of a matrix. In that case, this uh, symmetrical decomposition, or we can say eigenvalue decomposition problem is converted from uh, like A is uh, can be written as uh, uh, V into diagonal matrix into V transpose. So sometimes we call it symmetrical or spectral decomposition problem too. Let us start with some uh, uh, video lecture. So the eigenvalues problem, uh, that is uh, a v is equal to lambda time v is uh, uh, is any m by m or we can say a square matrix and v is belongs to the rm is uh, again non-zero and lambda is from real m. In that case lambda is eigenvalue and this vector v is eigenvector. So how many eigenvalues are at, the, at most? So a v is equal to lambda time v if and only if it is equal to a minus lambda time v lambda into identity matrix into v equal to zero as a non-zero solution if the determinant of this expression is equal to zero. So in that case, uh, from here we have uh, uh, eigenvalue equation in term of uh, uh, some uh, power of uh, let us say eigenvalue in lambda that is there is a uh, algebraic equation in term of lambda powers so we have um, we can say we have uh, at most m distinct solution or we can say the the this is characteristic situation it has at most m solution or you can say the this is the Characteristic equation has m solutions. So let us uh, uh, consider some uh, uh, problem like matrix or vector computation. How you can mix up uh, matrix uh, or vector multiplication with eigenvalues and eigenvalues. Suppose you have some uh, like diagonal matrix. It has eigenvalues since the upper or lower triangular matrix or diagonal matrix uh, eigenvalues are always placed on principal or main diagonal. So the 30, 21 is eigenvalues or uh, values. The eigenvectors are V1, V2, V3. We have directly calculated uh, by using uh, them uh, uh, called Jordan elimination method. So dear student, if I take any vector from R3, it can be written as 2v1 plus 4v2 plus 6v3. It can be written as a linear combination of the eigenvectors of this matrix. So, uh, how one can say, uh, like uh, this, uh, uh, 
like if I apply a on x, that is a uh, uh, operate on 2v plus 4v2 plus 6v3. If you operate to is uh, what you call the uh, eigen, uh, so uh, if you can say this uh, and scalar multiple, so scalar is uh, uh, you just apply the scalar will be outside this and you just apply a on vector b. Similarly, uh, 4 is a vector uh, scalar, so uh, a will uh, the matrix a will apply not on a scalar but on vector v2. Similarly, uh, here in uh, a v2. So, in that case, uh, by the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvector equation, that is a v apply on that it will generate lambda time v1 plus 4 lambda if a apply on v2, that it will generate lambda 2 v2 then similarly v3 so you just put lambda's value lambda 1 is 30 so 2 into 30 is 60 v1 in that case 80 v2 6 v3 you can say a1 to x is arbitrary vector the action of a on a is determined by the eigenvalues and eigenvalues say you have any any linear combination of uh, uh, possible uh, eigenvectors. If you operate um, a uh, action of a on x, so it will be you can just calculate the action of a on x. X is any arbitrary vector which is a linear combination of your eigenvectors of this matrix A. In that case, you can say we can find out the other uh, matrix which it lies in a space. Uh, with the help of um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, say you have eigenvalues as for a symmetrical matrix, the eigenvectors for the uh, vectors for distinct eigenvalues are, are always orthogonal. Uh, it means if uh, a v is equal to lambda times v, and uh, for symmetric matrix, the eigenvalues are always distinct. If the eigenvalues are distinct, it means uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 for 2 by 2 matrices is not same. In that case, I, uh, eigenvalues are always orthogonal. So, uh, um, in the case of symmetrical matrices, uh, each and everything is positive. All the eigenvalues of positive definite matrix are non negative. It means for all u belongs to Rn, it is an uh, n tuple. U T A into U is greater than or equal to zero. Then if A V is equal to lambda times V and lambda is always greater than or equal to zero. In that case, we can say for symmetrical matrix, the eigenvalues are always distinct and their corresponding ortho eigenvectors are always uh, orthogonal. Uh, let us take one uh, example, dear student. This is uh, one of the symmetrical matrix. A matrix A is symmetrical if A is equivalent to its transpose. So I have to calculate its eigen A minus lambda I. I have to calculate A minus lambda I. Uh, well, uh, I is two, 2 by 2 identity matrix and lambda is unknown. So in that case, I take its determinant and put it equal to 0. I will get uh, lambda, uh, an equation in term of lambda, quadratic equation in term of lambda. And quadratic equation uh, uh, has two roots, so it is one and uh, three. Uh, eigenvalues are one and three. The corresponding eigenvector are orthogonal because the eigenvalues are real and distinct. So the eigenvectors uh, are one and minus one and one and one. So if v one, these are v one and v two. So if I get the dot product uh, between the v one and v two, this is equal to zero. And this will satisfy the, the this property like this one. So in that case, v1 and v2 are orthogonal. Uh, so eigen uh, value or, or diagonal decomposition. If you uh, we have a um, a matrix that belongs to n plus n matrix square matrix with n linearly independent eigenvectors. Then uh, there is a uh, one theorem that they, that there exists an eigen decomposition that is v time diagonal matrix into v inverse. 
the column of br eigen vectors eigen vector of a and diagonal element of a are the eigen values of a so the this matrix is fundamentally the uh, consists of the diagonal matrix which consists of eigen values of this matrix a uh, in last class we have discussed the uh, this is uh, eigen uh, decomposition but we are uh, uh, today our lecture is about uh, uh, symmetrical decomposition where the, our matrix a is symmetric and um, i mean to say uh, where the matrix is equivalent to its transpose so uh, let us uh, define some uh, diagonal decomposition uh, this is uh, one of the if you have uh, v that is v is consists of uh, uh, the matrix that uh, 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 those column matrix are the eigen vector of matrix a so a time v1 that is a operate on uh, this uh, column vector that is v is a column vector of n class 1 so operate a on v1 v2 if operate a on v1 what will you will get lambda time v1 then a on v1 lambda and vn it can be written as v1 lambda 1 because this uh, this is a uh, scalar so scalar can be uh, you can take it from either from left or right so in that case it can also be written as like this one so in that case we can say like a v is equal to v times diagonal matrix i call it this expression as a diagonal matrix or we can say v inverse a v equal to diagonal matrix or we can say a is equal to v diagonal matrix into v inverse so this is uh, our previous uh, decomposition method and we call it diagonal matrix so let us uh, uh, take one example of a diagonal matrix and uh, 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 take uh, because this matrix is a symmetrical matrix whose inverse uh, was transpose is equivalent to its uh, uh, original matrix a it means a is equal to a transpose and its eigenvalues are one and three so the corresponding eigenvector which we have calculated from previous examples is orthogonal so they form v so this column vector this is one and minus one and this i place the second column vector in this matrix uh, v on second column so i take its inverse that is uh, its inverse is like this one so a is v diagonal matrix with this uh, diagonal matrix is consists of uh, eigenvalues of matrix a the v inverse so this is a this is diagonal matrix and this is v inverse uh, dear student this is our what we call the uh, uh, eigenvalue or diagonal decomposition what if else you have to calculate is symmetrical decomposition for that we have to normalize this matrix that uh, column vectors column matrix i mean to say uh, the, we have to divide this column matrix with this norm uh, when i mean to say norm when I mean to say norm, it means I have to divide this column vector with its magnitude. Similarly, uh, in that case, uh, my A is uh, equivalent to its transpose, or uh, I can say uh, the uh, in that case V is orthogonal. In case of orthogonality, the in case of this is orthogonal, and you must always keep one thing in your mind a square matrix a is orthogonal then a transpose is equivalent to its inverse uh, and i can say a a into a transpose is identity or a transpose is equivalent to its inverse in that case dear student uh, uh, if i uh, make it uh, as a since this is a symmetrical problem in that case i have to multiply not a v a inverse but i have to multiply it with its transpose like this one let us divide v uh, uh, and multiply v inverse 
and divided it by under root two because this is the what you call the the magnitude of uh, this column vector like this so uh, we have to divide it by its magnitude and take it uh, instead of taking its what you call the uh, inverse i just take its uh, transpose of uh, this this vector v this uh, matrix v so i just take its transpose in that case a is can be written as v diagonal matrix into v transpose instead of taking its uh, inverse so a uh, symmetrical decomposition problem if i have a square matrix like then there exists a unique eigen decomposition a is equal to v diagonal matrix to v transpose in that case dear student there is no need to calculate inverse in, in as in our previous case in case of eigen decomposition or diagonal decomposition we have to calculate inverse of v but here we don't need in more so v because uh, v is orthogonal it means v is equal to v transpose identity or v transpose is equal uh, equivalent to v inverse is equal to, to equivalent to its transpose in that case our decomposition problem will reduce uh, reduces to this expression in that case dear student v inverse is equivalent to its transpose column of v are normalized vectors columns are orthogonal everything is real in that case uh, uh, you have to uh, notice the difference between the normal matrix decomposition means to say normal uh, 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 which is not uh, what you call uh, symmetric uh, we did last uh, but uh, if you can see the uh, uh, eigenvalues are uh, actually orthogonal for uh, 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 symmetric matrix. In that case, the uh, the the inverse of the matrix could be replaced with the transpose, which is much easier than handling an inverse. So in that case, uh, dear student, if I can differentiate eigenvalue decomposition, here A can be written as V diagonal matrix into v inverse but in symmetrical decomposition problem if a is symmetric a symmetric matrix then a is v a diagonal matrix into v transpose so sometimes you call it as a symmetrical decomposition problem by kashi uh, so it was established by kashi in 1829 uh, if i can um, uh, let uh, uh, elaborate in another ma uh, way is that if we, uh, we have a matrix uh, square matrix and it's a real and symmetric it means to say it is uh, is transposed it, uh, is equivalent to itself uh, uh, if a matrix is symmetrical it means a is equivalent to its transpose then there exists an orthogonal matrix v such that A is equivalent to its orthogonal matrix into diagonal matrix and the transpose of the uh, orthogonal matrix. Or V transpose A into V is equal to A. How I get this, I just uh, uh, elaborate over here uh, how I get this. So you have to uh, uh, take it as a homework how I uh, deduce. Uh, this one from this result where uh, this uh, or capital omega is diagonal matrix so let us summarize today lecture it's uh, symmetric matrix is a matrix that does not change even if you take a transpose again decomposition when this matrix is symmetric we have discussed today in our uh, uh, our lecture that how eigen decomposition change when this matrix is symmetric and the decomposition matrix with the uh, eigen vectors are no orthogonal matrices therefore you could simply replace the inverse of orthogonal matrix to a transpose of uh, orthogonal matrix so uh, this is all about today's lecture. Uh, 
uh, do ask a question if you have any question regarding uh, to the lecture uh, I will uh, welcome you and then uh, there is some exercise you have to do it by yourself these are some uh, links that will be quite helpful for you thank you all and please stay at home may Allah bless you all till then Allah bless you.